Hi, I'm Jody Hand, Mrs. Hand Painted. In today's video, I'm showing you how to paint this fun little basket of flowers. If you're looking for something, maybe for a Mother's Day card or a nice gift for that upcoming holiday, this would be perfect for it. I put this onto a five by seven sheet, but you could make this as large as small as you want. You can just change it up. But I'll go through step by step to show you how to paint this basket of flowers. All right, I drew this sketch of a basket of flowers. It's me like some sunflowers, some roses, some maybe fuchsia colored mums or daisy type flowers, some um, kind of a delphinium type flower that's in a deep purple coming up, and then some sprigs of greenery coming out in a basket. So I'm actually gonna just scale this down and put it onto a card size. This is a five by seven. These are the Strathmore Ready Cut watercolor sheets, size five by seven. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not thinking I'm gonna do it this direction. Or horizontally here. And I'm just using this is um, a graphite aquarelle pencil from Faber Castell, just the HB, so it'll be the faintest. And I'm just gonna draw my basket shape just to give myself an idea of where everything is gonna be. There's my handle. Here is my basket, and then I can paint my flowers in there. All right, I am going to use, let's see, use a size eight round Princeton Velvet Touch Brush, and I think I'll use a four. Maybe I'll get my six out just in case I decide to use that, okay. I'm going to start out with my sunflower. And I'm going to use my Daniel Smith watercolors here. All right, I'm going to get, I have um, some Hansa yellow light. Sunflower here. I'm just going to do kind of a circle just to give myself an idea of where my petals are going to be, and then go around with my petals. This will just be my first layer, and then I'll layer over top. I want um, another one right here, right behind it. Those. Okay. I have the yellow deep. That's a hands of yellow deep. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that into my first sunflower here. Just go into the wet paint. a little bit more than what I wanted it to here, but... right, I'm going to go ahead and dry that. And for the center of my sunflower, I'm going to use some sepia.
Okay, and I'm going to take some more of that uh, Hansy Yellow Light. I'm just going to go back in and then maybe pull a tiny bit of that brown with me. Now. All right, I might go back over that later. Right, I'm going to do um, some leaves coming down here. I'll use a sap cream. make my vein I'm going to turn my brush around and uh, just use the back end of my paintbrush handle just to get a little bit of bleeding here. purple flowers that are coming up here that I want to do. I'm going to take this as um, quinacridone purple I've got. I'll put that up here. Maybe let that mix in a little bit with whatever blue I've got right there. Um, I'll take my sap green really quick. I'll just kind of make a stem coming up really quick. Okay, so I got that quinacridone purple mixed up with, I think that was some phthalo blue right there. I don't think much phthalo blue is getting mixed in with that, but... Alright, and I'm just with my large brush, I'm just kind of making some petal type shapes here. Coming up, I'm just kind of letting that blend in with my green a tiny bit. All right, I'm gonna get some undersea green here. Some different leaves coming here. A little more, maybe another green kind of sunflower leaf coming here. Okay, so I'm going to do maybe a couple of little pink roses over here. I'm going to take some quinacridone rose. Let's see, I'm running out of space here. I'm going to dilute that down. Oh, too much water. Alright, I'm going to have to go back over that, that's for sure. A couple, maybe like a type of a mum type of a flower here, and I'll just take some of my quinacridone purple and mix that with my fuchsia a little bit, or my rose, I mean, sorry, a little more purpley pink. Just kind of a little 
spiky flower here. All right, I've got kind of an even amount of flowers here. I'm not really, I'm gonna make one more of these off to the side here. I don't really like how uneven it makes it look. Okay. All right, so there's some little mum type flowers. I'm gonna dry this real quick so I can do that later on those roses. here and just try to ugh, try to define that a little better. In hindsight I should have used a smaller brush for that but oh well. Alright I'm gonna switch to my six. I'm gonna get some of my sap green. stems for these guys, a little bit of leaves. Okay. Kind of lost where I've got my second sunflower here. I just want to take a little more of the deep yellow and just maybe go over that a tiny bit more. All right, and I also want to just do a little more on these purple flowers. So I'm gonna get some more of that in purple. Just add a little bit more in there. Just add another layer. There, those look a little better. And I might just take a teeny bit here in the center of those. I'll just go back over my little roses one more time. Okay, I'm gonna work on this basket now. I'm gonna switch, well, no, I'll just stick with my six. I'm gonna use some yellow ochre. Okay. I'm gonna just do a wash across my whole basket that I drew out here. Going around my flowers. That's where you want to make sure these are dry so that you don't bleed. The colors bleeding. I'm 
gonna do one more layer over the basket so that I can add my texture. And I guess that would be the only place the handle is really showing. Okay. here just to kind of cover up a little bit more of that white area okay I need to add a little more yellow right there too there we go okay I'm gonna let that basket dry and then I'm gonna add another layer over top for some details Okay, um, I'm going to switch to the spore now, and I'm going to take my yellow ochre, and I'm going to mix in just a little bit of transparent brown oxide just to darken that a little bit, and then I'm going to do, for the basket handle, just do some little diagonal lines that are a little bit curved, show like that handle being wrapped, and then I'm going to do some lines going across the basket, just go all the way across, wherever it would pick back up, just... We can do the weave through there. Okay, now I'm going to add some vertical lines here and I'm going to stagger them as I go across. It'll give that illusion of a basket weave. This would make a really great Mother's Day card. You could add a little stamp sentiment to that or write a little message. Just use that as your card front. Maybe a really pretty um, basket of flowers to send to somebody. Thanks for watching.